Hi, Eli. Grandma's going to finish the best mistake ever, Richard's scary book. Okay, now we're on the number two story. Let's go. Okay, a visit to Mr. Fix-It. Huggle Cat was so happy, he had just bought the perfect Mother's Day present. A cuckoo clock. Mother will love it, he said. Cuckoo went the clock. It was one o'clock. See, it was one o'clock. He put the clock into the basket of his bike, then he set off for home as fast as he could go. Not so fast, said Lowly Worm. Slow down. But Huckle did not slow down. He turned the corner and crashed right into a postman pig. Cuckoo, went the clock. Oh no, it fell out. Officer Murphy came right over. Oh no, the clock is broken, said Huckle. You are lucky that's all that's broken, said the police officer. You were going too fast and you did not ring your bell, Huckle said. I'm sorry, but my bell is broken. Officer Murphy told Huckle to get his bell fixed. Oh no, his bike's upside down. Huckle and Loli went to Mr. Fix-It's store. Can you fix my bike bell? And this cuckoo clock, asked Huckle. Of course I can, said Mr. Fix-It. Come back in an hour and your bell and clock will be good as new. Huckle and Lolly left the store. Mr. Fix-It set to work. He took the bell apart. He took the clock apart. Now let me see, he said. Look at all those parts. The clock's upside down. When Huckle and Lolly came back, Mr. Fixit had everything back together again. Oh, thank you, Mr. Fixit, said Huckle. Glad to be of help, said Mr. Fixit. Huckle could hardly wait to give his mother the clock. He got to his house and rang his bike bell. Cuckoo, cuckoo, went the bell. Huckle was very surprised. Then he gave the clock to his mother. Happy Mother's Day, he said. Dring, dring, went the clock. Huckle was very surprised. So was his mother. What a wonderful clock, she said. I have never seen a cuckoo clock that sounds like a bike bell. Thank you so much, Huckle. Huckle loved his new bike bell, too. There was not another one like it in busy town. He rushed off to thank Mr. Fixit for the mix-up, and then he turned the corner. He rang his bell. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Did you like that story? Okay, here's the next one. It's called Best Friends. Huckle Cat and Lily Worm were best friends. They did everything together. They walked to school together. They sat together. They always played together at playtime. Look at they're going down the slide. Loli is so s silly looking, huh? At snack time every day, Huckle and Loli got the milk and cookies for the class. Miss Honey was happy to have such good friends in her class. And after school, they played together at Huckle's house. See, look at their playing. But one morning, Huckle waited and waited for Loli. Hurry, Huckle, or you will be late for school, said Officer Murphy. Huckle ran to school. He hoped that Loli was not sick. Today was Huckle's birthday. He wanted to show his birthday presents to Loli after school. Huckle ran into his classroom. He was very surprised to see Loli. He was even more surprised to see Loli sitting with Willy Rabbit. What is the matter? Are you mad at me? asked Huckle. But Loli did not answer. He just giggled. Then Loli whispered something to Willy, and they both giggled. Suddenly, Huckle felt sad. At playtime, Loli was busy whispering to everyone, everyone but Huckle. Huckle felt even sadder. At snack time, Miss Honey said, Today, Loli and Willy will get our snack. Huckle felt awful. This is the worst day of my life, he thought. Soon, Loli and Willie came back. Surprise, said Loli. They were carrying a birthday cake. The whole class sang happy birthday to Huckle. Then Huckle made a wish and blew out the candles. Very good, Huckle. What was your wish, asked Loli. 
I cannot tell you or will not come true, said Huckle. Then Miss Honey cut the cake and everyone had a piece. Mmm, good, said Huckle. After school, Huckle and Lolly played with Huckle's new train set. Look at the trains. This morning, I was afraid that you did not want to be my best friend anymore, said Huckle. I will always be your best friend, said Lolly. Aww. That's true. Huckle was very happy. His birthday wish had come true. He and Lolly would always be best friends. Oh, I like that. Did you like that, Eli? Okay, Grandma loves you. Mwah.